Oh, hi. You scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> well, how are you this Saturday? Have you enjoyed this? The Yankee Doodle commentary with my good friend Sean. Sean McBee, the Looney Tunes critic video wrangler. Well, there's a part in that very commentary, folks, and he said where he says something very interesting. I said very a lot, but I'm going to keep saying it because I'm very stupid. Anyway, here's that clip now. Did you see that? Um, I did not notice. I'm I'm really distracted by the fact that this is just sped Mel versus sped Mel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, and and. Because he's still like in his twenties here, and Daffy really... sounds really high pitched. The orchestra gives him a four-bar vamp, and the kid gives it to him like this. Yeah, he's 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 borderline Woody Woodpecker there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Daffy on coke. <laughs> I really didn't uh, notice uh, that Daffy was high pitched, uh, and what's weird is that Sean did notice it, and he noticed it, you know through the mix of us doing the commentary because you know we're sitting there with our headphones on and the the, the mix is in the background and we're talking over it and everything and through that he's hearing daffy uh you know high pitched and i don't hear anything odd well uh he's right that it's odd um porky doesn't sound uh too too dissimilar to what he normally does as you can see in this clip I had to be a better hurry. I just got there to take 10 minutes to catch my plane. But I've got a very important appointment. But uh, something that is interesting uh, that, that came from my research uh, doing uh, the, the videos and the commentaries on uh, Daffy Duck's Quackbusters and Who Framed Roger Rabbit um, was that uh, at least in the later years, uh, uh, the formula for getting... Um, the pitch, the pitching for uh, Daffy was uh, three semitones up, um, or uh, sped to one thousand RPMs, uh, and that's also the case for a few of the other characters. Tweety uh, had more, but uh, and maybe uh, Speedy Gonzalez had one extra, but uh, Porky and Daffy um, uh, normally were thought to be uh, three deci uh, three semitones up. Um, and uh, when you, uh, when you, what I found out recently uh, is that, well, you know what? I don't need to find anything out. I'm just going to show you myself. Here is how right Sean was in that commentary. Okay. Um, that is my face. And it needs to go away so that I can, here we go, bring this up here. This is the audio that we are going to be working with. Uh, from uh, Yankee Doodle Daffy. Um, and I've taken the liberty of removing um, any non-dialogue parts. Um, and also, these lines that you see here um, are separating um, Daffy's lines from Porky's lines. These ones that I'm highlighting here are both of Porky's lines, and then the remainder of it is all Daffy. Um <laughs> So let's uh, let's start off with uh, with what we're going to be working with here. I had to be a better hurry. I just got there to be ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Fasso! This is your lucky day. Opportunity is knocking. Believe me, but I've got a very important appointment. I'll say you have my card. Yes, sir, Daffy Duck, personal representative of the most sensational discovery since the Sweater Girl. He's colossal, stupendous, one might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. Now, that is indeed, as Sean pointed out, much uh, much higher pitched. And uh, for, for reference here, we're going to go back to my review of uh five non wb mel blank looney tunes performances where i uh to kind of show that in the later cartoons the pitching uh amount was um was uh three semitones uh i used it on uh, for daffy and uh porky i i went back and forth from with uh, daffy and porky's lines at that reading and also here uh you'll see pork or, i'm sorry I, sylvester is um, pitched up three semitones and then talking to Daffy, who's at the normal speed. And this is basically just to show you um, that 
indeed three semitones was the uh, the pitch used at this time. The wedding must take place tonight, my lord. The Scarlet Pumpernickel is about masquerading as a gentleman. And who might you be? Era, may have perchance, hobbish that I am, I might be the Scarlet Pumpernickel? You, the Scarlet Pumpernickel? <laughs> <laughs> so um there you go uh three semitones is the the actual number so um i believe that this is what i found is that porky is at three semitones um so what we're gonna do to find out if that's true is we're gonna go to this what i have saved here is three blank semitones and negative three blank semitones meaning if i want to make something uh speed something up uh the way uh blank did um or if not you know as they did uh in those days uh i go up three blank semitones or three semitones but if i want to bring it down i go to negative um so here we are bringing this down this is porky uh both of porky's lines will be brought down and I think we will find uh, that this is what Mel actually sounded like. I need to be a better hurry. I just got to, to, to 10 minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Sasso. This is your lucky day. Opportunity is nothing. But I've got a very important appointment. Yeah. Um, if you if you listen to uh, uh, Mel Blanks, uh, you know, he did some radio appearances as Porky. And uh, yeah, I, I can confirm in the 40s when he was in his 20s, um, late 20s, I believe, or maybe early 30s even, who knows, but uh, he, he he sounded like this. I need to be a better hurry. I just got to, to 10 minutes to catch my plane. Um, but uh, if we do the same thing to Daffy, Daffy's uh, piece of dialogue here, we will find that it is still kind of high-pitched. So let me uh, let me just do that back and forth here with, with Daffy. I need to be a better hurry. I just got to, to, to 10 minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Sasso. This is your lucky day. Opportunity is lucky. See, it, uh, you know, if you to, that doesn't sound anything like Sylvester did in those days. It sounded a little more high-pitched. So what we do is um, I'm going to undo that stretch and pitch, and I'm going to go uh, into that, and I'm going to change it from negative 3 to negative five which would mean that he was uh he was pitched up five semitones when they did this so let's let's hear what uh what what daffy sounds like now hold everything Sasso. this is your lucky day opportunity is nothing see what i mean that sounds a lot more like mel did in those in those days it sounds more like uh sylvester to be quite frank um, so let's, uh, let's do that again do the same application. And now let's hear what Mel sounded like in, in the, uh, in 1943 or whenever this cartoon was done, uh, when he made those original recordings as Porky and Daffy. I need to be a better hurry. I just got to, to, to 10 minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Sasso. This is your lucky day. Opportunity is nothing. Yeah, but, but I've got a, a very important appointment. I'll say you have my card. Yes, sir, Daffy Duck, personal representative of the most sensational discovery since the Swiffer Girl. He's colossal, stupendous, one might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. Now, keep in mind, uh, this is all digital. It's all digital. Uh, the, but uh, the, the difference back in the day being the, uh, the separation of uh, church and state. No, the uh, separation of, of pitch and speed this is uh this is not what how fast mel sounded in the original recording uh this is just getting the pitch right uh now back in the day when they pitched him up uh the speed also increased so uh it, it would have his delivery would have been a little bit more uh slow uh than that but that is roughly what he sounded like uh when this uh when this cartoon was recorded so Back to you, Trevor. Oh, you're back. Sorry. Well, wasn't that fun? Me talking to you from the computer, and now I'm back over here like I was before. Ha ha ha. Editing. 
So, um, yeah, that's, um, I just thought that was interesting. I thought, you know, how, 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 how clever of Sean to have, uh, picked up on how, how much faster Daffy is, uh, is sounding in that cartoon. And it makes me wonder, you know, are there other cartoons around that era where Daffy was pitched that much more than he uh, was in later years? Um, especially since as, uh, as we found with, uh, with Spafford, uh, Dave Spafford, the uh, the rock star animator that he is, uh, he ended up being the uh, the person who directed Mel Blanc in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. He was an animator and animated most of the stuff of the Looney Tunes stuff in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But he was present for the vocal record of Mel of Daffy, um, and uh, he uh, he 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 was there. He had had Mel uh, do it slightly uh, slower in the delivery. So that when they pitched it, it was uh, the the speed would also go up, but uh, they may have pitched it up to as much as as they did in this cartoon, which again may have contributed to why uh, Roger Rabbit sounded a lot more like Daffy in the '40s than uh, Quackbusters sounded like Daffy in the '50s and '60s, and well, for forever on until uh, Mel's uh, Mel's death in '88. But um, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, please, if you haven't already, uh, give a thumbs up, like, and definitely subscribe. Uh, this channel is growing, and that means that we can do uh, all sorts of more interesting things. Uh, uh, word around the campfire is I will be able to uh, provide uh, some uh, new Looney Tunes cartoons. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, and uh, so yeah, you just definitely uh, definitely contribute to the wheelhouse because in any way that you can uh, we have a patreon uh, Those those videos over there. Those are great videos. You should watch one of them You should definitely subscribe. You should definitely give a thumbs up and give comments a try I, I hear they're they're this new thing on the internet. Anyway, thanks for watching